everybody. A little late going live for my favorite. Favorite. Mm. And action. Start over. Hey, everybody. I'm a little late for my favorite paint show. Hashtag paint talk. Um, I have a couple things I want to show you, but we are actually finger painting tonight. So for those of you that are not familiar, um, a couple of years ago, I ended up painting on a canvas for Friday Night Live with my friend. And, um, well, it sold that night. And that encouraged me to paint on a piece of furniture. So I actually uh, was encouraged by a friend to take what I'd done on that canvas and actually go over to a piece of furniture and paint. Well, the best part of DIY paint is that it's clay-based. There's no VOCs, there's nothing harmful in it. So I have no problem with getting it all over my hands and wherever it else it might fall on my skin. Um, it's a clay-based paint. And so um, with it not having any harmful products or acrylics in it, it does not bother me whatsoever. So with that being said, we are going to take a break from furniture tonight because we finished um, we finished up Pretty Little Steampunk last night. I don't night. have comments on YouTube or Facebook. Well, um, so I don't see comments either. So it appears that something's kind of going on. It only, um, YouTube definitely looks messed up tonight. And um, I'm now seeing people pop on. So I think the comments are starting. Tammy, will you say something on Facebook so we can see um, everything looks really different tonight. I don't know if we're having a bad connection. Um, but meanwhile, Heather Watson is on. Okay, there they are, babe on YouTube. You see no, them? I see them now. Okay. You see them now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're starting. Sorry guys, I've been talking for a while and it's just now popping on and it looks like there was a slow start tonight. Um, so I'm going to be finger painting and um, talking a little bit about that, but I got really excited today and even though Matt says it, I'm showing you anyway. So I've ordered this in a leather handbag and I'm super excited to show it with you all. Um, I'm still not um, ready to actually launch them, but I did receive it in the mail today and it's a, look, leather purses. So anyway, I have some other styles coming, but I'm super excited and I just had to share it and Matt was like, wait, don't, don't share them. But I'm like, I'm so excited. So we're going to finger paint today and Matt just had to run just FYI. Um, picking up kids from a baseball or a basketball game. You know I'm going to get one of those, Heather. Thank you. Um, I have some other styles coming in too, and I have one with like a chain, and I have some different things coming, but um, I'm working on finding just the right company and just the right quality of leather. So everybody welcome. What I was saying in the very beginning, but it kind of, we got started. Uh, a, we're starting a little bit late. But what I was mentioning was the first time I finger painted, man, for my favorite paint show. Uh, it was a Friday Night Live and I had taken the DIY paint and my friend Quita and I uh, were doing a Friday Night Live on Facebook and it ended up being really fun and we loved it. I think I loved it more because I continued to finger paint and actually that painting sold that night. So um, I have continued to finger paint and I'm in that mood where I need to stop everything that I'm doing and I need to literally feel the paint on my fingers and to smear it. And it really, it opens, it's, it's like a different sensory. So who bought it? Josie Siefger bought it with Paint Pixie. She sure did. She sure did. So it's a, there's a, something in my senses or in your senses, actually, if you were to try it, it feels a little childlike. Um, it feels a little uh, messy, should we say? But like I said, I don't have any problem with smearing DIY paint all over my hands. It's completely harmless. And so um, chalk based, no VOCs, very few, um, very few ingredients in general. So, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, yes, prayers for Australia. There are people on um, YouTube right now and then also up here on Facebook that are um, in Australia. I actually just interviewed Fiona uh, from my Creative Connection. I just interviewed her and she is too in Australia. Um, so I am lightly misting my canvas with my Water Girl sprayer. DIY paint is kind of thick compared to others. 
Um, oh, Heather, girl, talk to me, you missed it again. Um, so I'm literally, I usually always use these two fingers and I get started and I'm telling you, if you're looking at me right now and thinking, why would I ever finger paint? Let me tell you something. There's this little creative vault that we get in our mind and sometimes the vault closes and sometimes we can't seem to get it open. But I'm telling you guys, if you will just take the paint and smear it and literally run it on your hands and feel the paint. And if it gets between your fingers, that's a bonus. Mandy, that's actually my brother telling you right there, the Howe family, that's my brother right there. So, um, thanks, bub. So, of course, we're just doing backdrop here. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, if you will just feel the paint on your hands and let it drip and let it roll and let it just be wet and cold, um, I'm telling you what, you guys, you have no idea what you might be able to create if you can just do a few paintings. And don't think about selling it. No. No, 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 no. This is just when you're alone and you don't want anybody to see. And it's just something that you're doing for yourself as a little lesson. So I, the very first time um, Quita and I finger painted it was on a Friday Night Live and I, we did black backgrounds and I ended up doing a bouquet of flowers on it. And she did more of an abstract but I did a vase with flowers and ended up, it was so, not only was it so fun, but it was a lot easier than I expected. Um, and with that being said, oh, you know what, wrong color. I think I wanna do blue iris. You do get a little bit messier. Um, blue iris, I, in honor of my shirt. So guys, Matt just had to run, so if you're, if you're wondering, <laughs> He's not actually here. He just had to, he had to leave just now when my son texted and said, game over, dad. So he just out the door. Um, we're going to add in some blue iris. And for those of you also, one thing I also, I was thinking about this a second ago when I was getting set up. You know how you have an idea of wanting to try something in your brain? Like you see someone else do something and you think, you know what? One of these days, I'm gonna try that. And it's always one of these days. You know why we do that? I know I do it. I don't know why you do it, but I know I do it. What if I do it and I stink at it? That's why I put it off. What if it's in my brain and I'm gonna do this one day and I've got big hopes and big dreams and I'm really excited about it. But what if I actually go to do it and I find out that I'm really not very good at it? Right? That's why I think we put it off because we are kind of scared actually to think we may try it and then decide we're really, we're not a natural at it. We are gonna have to practice at this. Barn's gone. I don't know what you saw there, sister. I didn't see a barn. <laughs> but I think for me, that's why I put stuff off. And it's almost more fun to keep it a dream. One of these days, I'm going to teach myself to do watercolor. I'm going to hang on to that one. And then all of a sudden, I do it and go, God, this is so hard. This is so hard, this whole watercolor thing. And then I find out it's really hard. Um, or I'm not a natural. I thought that I might be a little bit better at this. Guys, if you're not feeling it in your hands, you're not doing it right. So I have goals and things that one of these days I'm gonna try that. And I keep putting things off because I have a fear of it's something I really want to do, but like, what if I do it and realize 
you're not very good at that. And then your whole dream is shattered. And so I think that's what we do. I think we put it off. We do. I know we do. I know I do. We put it off because we're still hanging on. Because as long as we don't try, then we still have that dream to hold on to, don't we? tried painting with Bob Ross a couple of weeks ago and it was a failure. <laughs> you tried painting with Bob Ross. He's good though. I've heard about him. That's a joke. Of course I know who that is, but yeah, he's, he's good. Um, mm, 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 mm. Even harder to open. Sounds like I missed something I needed to hear. Thank goodness for replays. Yes, Gail, go back sister. I'm trying to keep my sleeves up. You see that shaky shake? That's to keep my sleeve up. I'm sending out a message today of encouragement. Um, in my groups, both groups that I'm teaching this month, it's all about unlocking your vault. And we're talking about some creative exercises that you can do. Whether it be an art journal, challenge them to do an art journal, challenge them to finger paint, And in one of my groups, we have done um, personal, art personalities. Like, what is your art personality test? Um, it's no right or wrong answer, but it gives you uh, basically your likes, what you're attracted to, and helps define a little bit more about your style. But let me tell you, this is not part of my style, but if I do things that are a little bit different than what I've ever done or than what I normally do, that vault starts to creak open as if each thing that I do, it opens up that vault a little bit more. And then several weeks later, not when I'm expecting it, wham, I do something, I create something, I think, well, I'm really pushing the envelope here. Like I'm really pushing myself. And you don't necessarily realize it comes back to the exercises that you are doing, that creative journal that you've been working on. Um, in my email list last, um, I think it was in December. Yes, it was December. I did a blog post and I showed you guys my um, five favorite things. And in one of those items was a leather journal where I uh, store my art journal. It, it, it wrapped it, you know, I put paper in it and put all my colored pencils and stuff in it. So yeah, you look at this and go, that's not my style, but that's not what we're after. We're after getting it on our hands and doing this, doing this, getting a good background on here. And maybe I'll add flowers to it. Maybe I need to do all of this right now to get it the way I want or to just feel the water with the, the paint. Anybody else finger painted? Now, I know those of you that are in my group are going to say, yes, I have. But anybody else that's not familiar? I'm gonna open this up. We need some green, don't we? Hi, Kelly. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Um, if I'm missing comments and everything, it's because Matt's not here. So I'm doing the best that I can um, with what I have, with streaming on, on all platforms. So let's put some green down in here now, guys. It's starting to, starting to dry a little bit.
Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. All right. So now I almost feel like I need, what color should we do more? Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of turquoise and then I add a smidge of orange. Um, now I don't want to muddle my colors too much because I have a lot of water on here. So I'm just going to grab a rag and wipe my hand off. Flick it. That's right. Love it when we can flick the paint. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of turquoise, I think. Um, Guys, this is not something that I am thinking I'm gonna like. This is so I can play. Uh, it is mermaid tail. Um, it is mermaid tail. Thank you, Heather. This is something that I can do so I can play in the paint. Take a break from what I normally do. Grow or help a brush painter. Does finger painting grow or help a brush painter? Susan, absolutely, I'm a brush painter. I'm a brush painter too, absolutely. It helps any kind of creative person. It doesn't even matter if you are a painter of any kind, it's gonna help you. Um, it's more about unlocking a sense of freedom and sense of creativity um, inside your brain that gets locked. We get so um, generalized and mainstream into what we see. We walk through stores, we see what's popular, we see, and so we try to do that. But we forget what's here, right? And so this is just an exercise. Howdy Woods time two, hello Robert Gloria. Mr. Woods has gone to pick up some boys from a basketball game. So um, I am gonna get a little bit of pink. got yellow in a spray bottle that I used for another project. So I'm going to spray it right here in what I would pretend would be my yellow flower. The yellow part. A little bit of yellow just kind of dusted over it. This is not intended for you to go, oh, that's really pretty. It's more of a concept, you all. It's more of me coming on here and saying, how vulnerable can I be to create something that's not necessarily attractive? Or maybe it is, maybe it is appealing to you. Um, I personally like it because it's an expression of myself. So I actually kind of like it. Um, because this is really fun. 
Do you enjoy finger painting every now and then? Uh, Derek, I do it on a regular basis, so definitely have to do it. This is why I was doing it today, um, because I was like, man, I have to be finger painting. I, I did a whole series this time last winter. I did like 12 paintings, um, all finger painting. And um, I, from, from here on out, I have some videos and I do it in my group sometimes, but yeah. I have an actual, um, Valerie Smith, it's whatever you see. You said, what is it? Um, I don't know if you've been on from the beginning, but I was just kind of explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, you can see whatever it is that you see. So I'm gonna also grab, grab some golden ticket and put some sparkles in there so when it dries. Um, Cheryl Jenkins, you really should try it. It feels a little weird, it feels a little awkward, especially if you're worried that it's gonna be, you know, ugly or someone's, especially if you're, you're trying to do something for a living and you sell paintings or something and you're thinking, I don't wanna be able to see it. Now, what I could do is go get my scraper and I could start scraping off part of it, but I actually am in love with the fact that it's an abstract floral is what I see. Now, if I can get the golden ticket open, I am gonna add a little bit to the top and a little bit here and there so I can get some gold on it. That will really set it off and make me happy. This is actually a gold shimmer, so I'm gonna put a little of it in here in the center. So if you've missed the beginning, you may not understand what it is I'm doing or why I'm doing it, and that's okay. That's what the best part about replays are if you're actually interested. Thank you, Val, I appreciate that so much. I'm gonna spray a little bit on the golden ticket. I have sold many, many of my finger paintings. Um, I did one probably six months ago, and Kim Sprato, anyway, she bought it. But I got it, I got did the whole bouquet whatsoever. I did all of it. And then I took my scraper and I went straight down the middle with it. And she was like, no, I can almost hear her beautiful voice screaming at me through the phone. Um, anyway, she loved it so much after I scraped it that she messaged me and she bought it. Do you use a certain kind of canvas, Sally? I go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and I buy the, the gallery frame, the gallery wrap, two, two inch, or they're like one and three quarters inch. Um, so I buy the good, solid, good, sturdy ones, um, and I love to buy them when they're on sale, too. So I have this exactly the way I want it, but I need a little bit of white, I think. So let me grab a white to add some highlighting. Um, this is one of those things I want to do to unlock some of my creativity, and January has been all about, in my, in my group trainings, about unlocking our creativity. Um, so let me grab a little bit of white. of white. How about using the brayer? I could. I love abstract. It's core strengthening in an artist's way. Just cut loose and express. That's right. I love your color choices. Thank you, Josie. Lighten all this up just a little bit down here, you guys.
uh, actually Josie, um, who bought the first finger painting, actually came to my house from Vegas and she actually sat in my garage with me and we finger painted on a live together, which was so much fun. She did amazing. Josie, if you're still on here, you did amazing and you know it, girl. Her first finger painting was with me. She's a beautiful, gifted artist, but she allowed herself <laughs> to sit with me and we went on a live and she finger painted and then I think she... Um, I think she ended up finishing that on uh, in her trailer on a live video, which was really fun to watch. Right, Jess? So my thing is right here is I'm mimicking some flower petals with the white and just a kind of an abstract falling look. You know what? I love it. I'm not touching it. That is just what I needed. Let me just tell you. That is just what I need you. But I love doing it. Finger painting is so hard. I know um, our styles are different in that, um, yeah, it's hard for Matt. He wouldn't even do it. Oh, thank you, Heather. You're so supportive of me. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, so I feel really good as exactly what I needed. That was exactly what this heart, this brain, all of me needed. Um, and you can see what you can see. You can see whatever it is. And if I wanted to, I could just take the scraper and just have the colors left and it'd be really abstract. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and let it set up. I'm pretty actually really happy with it. I love that, the last thing that I did over here with lightening it up. I love the way the gold looks. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Carol, you're so nice. Um, let's bring it in just a little bit closer. So this was all DIY paint. There's no acrylics, which I don't. I didn't need gloves. It's it's all right here on my hands. Um, no no problem whatsoever. It'll wash right off. I'm gonna pop in the shower here in a second anyway. Um, so this is my favorite paint show. Hashtag paint talk. Um, we love hanging out with you and Miss Iris. <laughs> thank you, Alice. Um, I um, sorry that Matt couldn't be here tonight, but thank you for all of you that have watched our video about our water girl or little pro promo video. It was totally silly. But just so you know, we have another one in the works. Totally different, but it's in the works and hopefully it'll be out in the next couple of weeks too. But um, thanks for hanging out with me guys tonight. I appreciate your support. And if you don't get it, you think it's crazy, I appreciate your respect by not saying anything ugly. Uh, these are things that are um, important to my heart and important to my favorite paint show. Woo! All right, you guys, go grab some paint and finger paint. What's it gonna hurt? I can promise you it's going to help you. It won't hurt. It'll help. You guys have an awesome night, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Same place, same time. Actually, it's going to be earlier because this was too late. Love you guys.